Well, good morning, everyone. This is Amethyst Wildfire, and I am coming to you live from my office. Today, I am starting on a little vlogging journey. I have been taking a blogcation from my regular writing, and I haven't written for probably a couple of weeks, and I, there are things that I wanted to write, but I just wasn't feeling the urge to sit down and actually do the writing. And now I have, um, I have created a situation with a broken wrist, as you can see, that um, prevents me from spending extended periods of time writing or typing. So I am going to be vlogging for the next few weeks. So one of the things that I had planned to write about was about how when we make a leap, it is also important to know how to land. So as you might have um, noticed from my most recent blog posts, I made a huge quantum leap in, um, in investing in myself and my business back in January. I made the decision to enroll as a diamond in um, Kevin Nation's Love Mastermind. And I specifically made this decision because I felt really very clear knowing deep within me that it was the right next choice for me. What I will say is financially, it was a huge, enormous, enormous, enormous leap. However, um, I made the choice and I am excited to be in the Love Mastermind. I know I'm going to learn a lot and one of the things that I realized is we are on the leading edge of creating. We are literally creating a whole new industry. We are creating a whole new way of working. We are creating a whole new way of educating. We're creating a whole new way of healing. and. Part of what we are doing in this process is we are learning that some of the old institutions aren't really working and they are starting to collapse. And I'll use the educational system uh, as an example. A uh, recent blog post I was just perusing showed this doctor who was half a million dollars in debt with student loans and so the financial system is is not working well the educational systems the existing ones are not working well and so people are looking outside and other people are creating uh, alternative ways for people to learn and to grow and to expand into their greatness so I realized that when I make investments like this, for example, I made an investment in Lisa Sasevich's uh, Sassy Mastermind at the Platinum level this past fall, and, and that was a huge leap then for me. Um, and then when I made this decision to invest in, in Kevin's Mastermind, I realized that what I'm doing is I'm literally investing in an educational process in addition to an experience where I'm able to share in this mastermind format with other entrepreneurs who are at the leading edge of what we're creating right now. And to me, that is an invaluable, an invaluable educational process and something well worth investing in, even though I am now indebted um, in order to pay for, to finance that education, I truly believe that the work that I'm going to be doing with Kevin and also the work I'm doing with Lisa and the work that I'm doing with the groups that I'm engaged with is going to more than pay for itself multiple times over. And so it, it was almost like a no brainer to do that. So one of the things that came up for me was this. I had absolutely no problem in making the leap. In fact, I was eager to make the leap. I was excited to make the leap. I had a knowing, a deep knowing right in my heart. This was the next step. This was the right thing to do. And I've lived a spirit guided life for the last seven years. So 
when I checked in with my upstairs team, it was just really clear. There was no question, there was no doubt, there was no fear, there was no mental body um, uh, stress created that said, you know, this isn't this isn't within your realm of possibility at this point. That none of that was there for me when I made the decision. The decision was clear. I called it a no sale. And I'm I'm one of those people when I know, I know. So it's a K-N-O-W sale. I know this is the next best step for me. One of the things that I want to talk to you about in this video is when we make a leap like that, it's really vital, really, really vital to know how to land the leap. And I think that this broken wrist is a little piece of information for me around um, maybe not being as mindful of the landing as I was of the leaping. So I'm going to um, just give you a few thoughts about how to land after moving through an incredibly transformational process. When we engage in these group experiences, when we go through a hugely transformational process, we come back into our old world and we have shifted and maybe everything around us hasn't yet. And so it's so important to be mindful of the fact when you make a transformation that you are, you have shifted, you're in this higher vibration, you're in this higher level of consciousness, you're in this expanded state of awareness, and it's your um, responsibility to yourself to take that higher awareness, that higher consciousness, and ground it, really ground it and help it to um, uh, lock in for you in your everyday life. Often, when we make huge shifts like this, a lot that we had already constructed needs to go because it's not in alignment with where we are now, energetically, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And so it's important to be mindful and to give yourself that space after you have planned, whenever you plan to go engage in any kind of transformational learning experience or event, it's really important to, to master your own calendar and make plans for yourself so that you have that time on the back side of the experience to come in for a smooth landing and to really ground the energy into the earth first, the earth where you live first, and into your physical body, really just getting all of that energy kind of present in your physical body so that you're really embodying that higher level of consciousness and awareness, then into your emotional body and just noticing and being aware and um, being mindful of the ripple effect that happens in your family, in your relationships, uh, with your colleagues, in your business, with your clients when you have made a shift. You cannot make a huge shift like this and then go back and expect everything to be the same or you certainly can't make a huge shift like this and go back and expect everything to have shifted along with you immediately. There is a little bit of a time delay, and so part of what is important and a piece of advice that I would offer you is to learn how to appreciate that time delay when you've made a quantum leap to allow your material world, your emotional world, your mental world to catch up with your spirit. Our spirit moves at the speed of, beyond the speed of light, it, our spirit moves at the speed of, of love, I believe. And so the speed of love is much more rapid than the speed of thought or the speed of light or the speed of sound or certainly the speed of a human physical body. So that's my little vlog for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I am going to be periodically vlogging instead of blogging for a little bit now, probably about four to five weeks. And I'm looking forward to having some comments back on these vlogs and I welcome video comments as well. Thank you again for paying attention, for sharing with me, for taking the time out of your busy day to um, receive this message and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye.